Charlie Burke here, folks, Bass Academy of Real Estate. If you've uh, attempted to schedule the exam, you probably found out now that the procedure has changed. Uh, there isn't much that we could do about, about that. So the information that you have, your certification booklet that I provided you in class is still good. That had your um, certification that you completed the course, had the stamp on that page. You needed to get three references signed and you needed to get a core reform sign. There is additional information now. It is on my website. You're looking at the website now, so you'll see this. You're gonna download that attachment, and it has a lot of pages, but you really only need the first four pages. This first one's pretty important because it's a checklist of everything that you need. So I would really look at that to make sure that you're sending in the right information. It is there. Once you get this application completed, you're going to mail it to this address right here in Las Vegas. This is on page one. What they now want you to do is they want you to get a picture. So you're going to attach a picture right here. You're going to check whether you're taking the broker exam or the sales exam. Then you're going to fill out this bottom part of this particular page. Then the next page there's additional qualifying questions. They're going to ask you to respond to those. You're going to sign. You're going to date it. Okay, then you're going to go to the next page, and this is what you, how you're going to pay. So it's still $85 for the sales, $106 for the brokers. And then there's information. They won't take a personal check anymore. So if you're going to pay by credit card, you're going to fill this information out. You could do a, um, a money order, okay, and you're going to mail this, this information in. Now, the next page here, this is the core reform. If you already did this in your original booklet, that's the one that you're going to send in. But if not, if you haven't done it, so you can print it off of this application. It's Board of Registration of Real Estate Brokers and Salespersons. We went over that in class. License type will either be sales or brokers. You're going to fill out the next page, the top section. You're going to get the bottom section notarized and you're gonna sign and date this in front of the notary. Now, I have all the pages printed here, but you really shouldn't need anything after this because you already have all of that in your original booklet, okay? So there are instructions here. Um, those first four pages in this new application need to be filled out again, so we wanna make sure that we do this. Page one is a checklist of everything that you need to do. Very important, I'd use that checklist. You're gonna mail the completed application into this address, bottom of the first page. You need to get a picture of yourself, send the picture, attach it here, check off which exam you're taking, okay? If you already have a broker's license, you're gonna put your salesperson's license number and the date it was issued. And if, again, it's a sales exam, you're gonna check off sales. You fill out this section here. The next page, you'll do the same. The next page is your form of payments, gonna give you instructions here. And if you didn't do the Corey form, and you should have done it, it's in your original book booklet, you need to send that original information in as well, so your certification that you took your class, um, you're gonna do your Corey form, that was in there. Make sure that it gets notarized, and you're gonna send that in to that address in Las Vegas. This page here, now you don't need to worry about that because this is the one that's in the original booklet. Okay, so I hope that this does help. There's instructions there, and I'm wishing you a happy testing.